All right, so I was just testing out some stuff to do on this surface here to figure out what to do with it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit it with some rust converter. And then after I'm done with that, then I'll just use one of these stripping wheels like what I got here and remove everything down so that if you can see there's a little bit of pitting there. Kind of want that stuff to be treated. And then I'm going to, on this car, and this is not required on everything, believe me, I'm going to epoxy prime everything. Um, and it's not because I have to. Um, it's because some of these parts are not going to get painted right away. And if they sit out in the weather at all, it will start to rust if you just use regular primer. And because this project is going to get put on hold probably not too far in, I'm not sure. So just to be safe so that I don't ruin all the body work and stuff I've done, I'm going to go ahead and hit with the epoxy primer. Epoxy primer is a sealer. Uh, it's not a good product to sand or anything like that. It's just to basically seal up stuff. And it also has a good encapsulator in it a lot of times. So all the stuff that's underneath there probably will be okay. So anyway, we'll just go ahead and soak this thing down with some rust converter. Let's take a look at it.
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up the grinding here on this little area. And after I get the grinding done, then I'm going to put some filler on here, kind of to get uh, the basic shape I want. Uh, I like to get those deep areas filled in because they're kind of hard to clean up and get to bare metal. You know, plus you're doing more grinding on your metal and, you know, it's just, you don't want to get the metal too thin. Uh, that stripping wheel is kind of nice because it just removes the surface rust without really sanding the metal. It just kind of just removes it and it kind of polishes the metal a little bit. So it's kind of nice uh, for using to do some of that stuff. And so, uh, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and fill all this stuff up and, and we'll see. Get it to rough in. We'll take a look at it a little bit later in the video. So I sanded some of this with 80 and some of it then I just finished it out with some 150 some areas some of it I just finished in 80 but you know you just like I said I'm doing a rough end on the bodywork so that at the end when it comes to after the epoxy primer I don't have to sand off all the epoxy primer in those areas or try and rough it up and down those deep little sections so anyway we'll take a look at it. All right, so let's take a look here. This is not finished. I only do, this is the epoxy primer on here. So it's not a surfacer. All it is is to seal it. I just like to do my uh, deeper fills before epoxy primer. Some guys will just go and just epoxy prime everything and then do their metal work and then come back and do their stuff. Um, it all depends. You can do it whatever way you want, but I, I like to just, while I had it down, this isn't going to be painted for a while. The only reason, really, you need to use epoxy primer is because, well, on this one, I'm kind of, there's so much of that surface rust. Even though I treated it, there's so much of it. The whole car is really just surface rusted. Um, I just want it on there to, to be an encapsulator to keep that even though I've treated it and everything else, I just want to put it on there as an encapsulator. And then the other reason is, is because I'm probably not going to touch this hood 
for a while so you see there's a lot of wavy stuff going on here wasn't intending to get all that out so that's just like i said this is a rough end of the bodywork come back i can give it a quick sand i can do the rest with a little bit of glazing uh or some ag47 which is spec to go over epoxy primer but it needs to be sanded in those areas so like if you're just doing if you're going to just do body work and you're using epoxy primer um you need to sand that before you put the filler on for sure and the problem is, is sometimes when it's real ripply those really deep areas um i like to grind it because you're not getting everything sanded down in those little crevices and those little crevices if it's not sanded and the, and the filler doesn't stick there it will crack so that's where you have issues with filler you know people go oh filler doesn't work it's like no you just didn't do it right if it's over bare metal and it's done right it'll last as long as anything so guys that don't use it it's because they did it wrong once and they don't want to admit that they did it wrong and you know, that's usually the case so you can see the shape of these hoods is a bit different it's a little more roundy in the middle i'm going to uncover all those holes at some point um it's just got that roundness to the middle of it these are this part's flatter it doesn't have as much roundness as the later cars did so they have a unique shape to them as well it's flatter so i had to mimic that with the metal work it's not easy to do because there's like i don't know 10 different angles and, and again that's wavy the lines line up pretty good i'll do the final with the hood on the car i do not try and the other thing i don't do is i don't try and do all my finish work with a hood that's on a stand like this when your hood's on your stand like this it's moving all around it's impossible to do a good job when you're sanding it's impossible to do a good job with your metal work. I, I think you end up, yeah, you can do it eventually, but it's going to take you 10 times as long. So what I want to do when I get to that point is I'll bolt this back on the car and then I'll have a nice firm surface. I can check my lines. I can, you know, do the final sanding and do the final block work that I've, you know, little things that I want to fix. There's, you know, more filler that I'm going to put on there and do all that after it's on the car this is just kind of a rough end okay so if you're looking at this and you see stuff that flaws in it of course it's going to be we're not done we'll bring this back bring you guys back in for more work coming on the oval window i don't like how this is getting rusty i got to get those fenders off of there they were not that rusty they were kept in this car was kept inside so i've got to do something about that so we'll be doing some more action on this thing uh, again it is super hot you know we don't have much shade yet for working on the bucket truck so we're going to continue on with some more video probably on this it'll be random you guys will see different things coming and going right now as i get moving on through summer all right so i'll talk to you on the next video please like share and subscribe see what you guys think about that hood I think it looks, it fits on there really good. It's just got a little bit of line issues. I'll have that all worked out once it's on the car. And I'm doing the final stuff that I'm going to do to it. Talk to you in the next one with Primer Surfacer. <laughs>